Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss about the topic how to compute first function for the given grammar. The grammar is e derives t e dash, e dash derives plus t e dash or epsilon, t derives f t dash, t dash derives star f t dash or epsilon, and f derives open bracket e close bracket or id. In this given grammar, we need to find the first function for all the non-terminals. So the non-terminals are e, e dash, t, t dash and f. So we need to find first of e, first of e dash, first of t, first of t dash and first of f. And the rules to derive the first function are if S is a terminal, then first of S is S itself. If S derives epsilon, then epsilon also included in first of S. If S derives a non-terminal in the right hand side as the first symbol, then first of that non-terminal is nothing but first of S. Suppose if that non-terminal derives epsilon, then the next symbol we have to consider. Next, if this non-terminal also derives epsilon, then we have to consider the next symbol. If it is a terminal symbol, directly we can add that symbol in first of yes. If it is a non-terminal symbol, we have to compute first of that non-terminal symbol and then that should be included in first of yes. So likewise we have to consider. Now first we need to find first of E. So first of E is nothing but we have to consider the first symbol in the right hand side of the production. So it is a non-terminal. So this is actually rule 3. So whenever the first symbol in the right hand side of the production is a non-terminal, then we have to find the first of that non-terminal and that should be included for first of E. So now we need to find the first of T. So first of E is nothing but first of T. Then we have to go and find first of T. So first of T is nothing but we have to consider the first symbol or the beginning symbol in the right hand side of the production that is nothing but F it is a non-terminal. So here since it is a non-terminal we need to find first of that non-terminal. So first of T is nothing but first of F. So we need to find first of F. So first of F if you are considering in the right hand side the beginning symbol that is the first symbol. This is a terminal symbol that is an open bracket. So if it is a terminal symbol as per definition, we can include that terminal symbol directly to first function. So first of f is nothing but open bracket. This is as per first production. And the second production is f derives id. So id is also a terminal symbol. So this is also the beginning symbol. So Directly we can include that terminal symbol to first of F. So open bracket comma id. So now we can substitute for first of t. First of t is nothing but first of F. And first of F is nothing but open bracket and id. Next we can substitute for first of e. First of e is nothing but first of t. And first of t is nothing but first of F. Set of terminal symbols, open bracket and id. Next, we need to find first of e dash. If you are considering e dash, there are two productions for e dash. One is plus t e dash and the other one is e dash derives epsilon. So, if you are considering the first production, the first symbol in the right hand side of the production is a terminal symbol. So, if it is a terminal symbol, as per definition, directly we can include that terminal symbol in the first set. And the second production, if you are considering E dash derives epsilon. So, as per rule 2, if S derives epsilon, then add epsilon to first set. So, include epsilon also in first set. So, first of E dash is plus comma epsilon. Next, we need to find first of T dash. 
First of T dash is nothing but there are two productions for T dash. First production is T dash derives star F T dash and T dash derives epsilon. So if you are considering the first production, the first symbol in the right hand side of the production is a terminal symbol star. So if it is a terminal symbol as per definition directly we can include the terminal symbol to the first set. So we have we are including star to the first of T dash. Next up, if you are considering the second production T dash derives epsilon as per rule 2 if S derives epsilon directly we can include that epsilon symbol in the first set. So first of T dash is nothing but star comma epsilon. So now we have find the first function for all the non-terminals. So first of E is set of terminal symbols open bracket and ID. First of E dash is plus epsilon. First of T is open bracket ID. First of T dash is star epsilon. First of F is open bracket ID. If you are considering this given grammar, this is free of left recursion. Suppose if the grammar is a left recursive grammar, then we have to eliminate left recursion and then we have to find the first and follow function. So in this session we have discussed how to compute first function for the given grammar. In the next session we will discuss the topic follow function. Thank you for watching this video.